What's up everyone, Nike here, showing off the fin final, I guess you would call it a finale, the final update for uh, Daytona Rising on my Daytona Speedway track. Now it was delayed a little bit because I got caught up with other things, film wise and game wise, just, and I wasn't really in the mood coming off of uh, both before and after Rolex 24, so um, I decided just to get it done finally. Um, but don't worry, I didn't rush it or anything. I made sure to pay attention to as much as I could, but this update, uh, to Daytona Speedway is more of like a re renovation, kind of like what, uh, what was going on with Daytona Rising, that it was a renovation off of the original stands to make it more like a stadium. So, you probably saw, if you saw my original update number one with Daytona Rising, I added in the new stands, and then I was replacing the, uh, the seats are actually I wasn't replacing them back you know at the time I only replaced them up on the checkered stands near the sprint tower so this final update is basically rounding out those stands extending them forward a bit you know adding in that kind of like depth that the new stands have I actually had to uh, update it with adding in another floor that goes along with the sprint tower I redid the 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 stands in the middle uh, right below the sprint tower so that when you're looking at it from the um, down point of view it has that kind of like uh, indented downward shape and it has kind of like the checkered um, uh, design on the stands that you can see when you're down below on the track or in the infield and um, basically this whole final update was cleaning that up I took out all of the seats in the original bottom base of the stand so that bottom layer that I did not touch I um, had to go through it took a uh, maybe about an hour to do because I had to replace each and every single stair which counted as seats I added in new entrances on the uh, top floors the new floors that I just added in so that you can actually have entrance ways when you are on top of that and then in the middle of building that I also decided to clean up the track a little bit so I worked a little bit on the road course, making the turns more rounded. I worked on the chicane when you're entering in the road course in the first corner, because originally my chicane kind of was non-existent. It was more of just a wide turn, so I kind of shaped that up a bit more. And then in the, I believe it's second horseshoe, um, I also rounded that and made it wider so it's not as thin. And a lot of it had to do with just cleaning up the track a little bit to make it look a bit better considering that this is a very, very old build, and then finishing up and wrapping up the Daytona Rising build. This was a very interesting build because um, I have not touched it in a long time. Since the first update, I have not touched it. I have focused on Indianapolis, and since then I have worked on other tracks which have progressively been getting better. Now, I do hope in the future, possibly, if my channel continues to grow, to rebuild this track with other people. I would like to revisit Daytona in the future on either on my new world or new new world and rebuild it more to scale, have the better rounded banking, have the stands and everything and I may get builders to be assigned to certain projects like the stands, the injectors adding those in. But for now I wanted to leave it off with this legendary track that actually was the first really big big viewed video that I had on my channel. So a lot of you guys probably subscribed to my channel because of this and you're interested in my builds. I'm taking a small break, a little break, maybe a large break, I don't know, from building right now because the views have been progressively getting lower and lower and it just eats up so much time and I've been kind of working on making sure that I get a regular amount of videos to you guys. Plus uh, my interest in building you know comes and goes so I don't want to force myself to be building if I'm not interested in it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video though, did enjoy the track, and if you want to ever visit any of my Minecraft worlds, if you ever want to, just message me on Xbox Live, Nike2000, um, and I'll you just get in contact with me and I'll be able to show you around the different tracks. Um, so I hope you guys again enjoyed, make sure to check out the Minecraft playlist for more Minecraft videos, more creations. And subscribe for more. I have a new schedule, which is Monday and Friday. So two videos, Monday and Friday. I'm going to try the best I can to keep that schedule up to have regular videos out for you guys. So four videos each week, Monday and Friday. It can either be in the morning that you'll see the videos or at night. So definitely uh, stay tuned for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>